Hi everyone, this is Tolhas from Agenda. Um, we are here in Bangkok now for the uh, workshop on the advocacy building uh, pertaining to the adoption of the in, uh, ASEAN Enabling Master Plan. And I have a colleague here, okay, uh, you can introduce your, yourself your, uh, first and also your organization, yes, your, where I'm, you come from. Yes, my name is Yu Sui. I am a coordinator of uh, Myanmar Independent Living Initiative, Mili, one of the mm. DBO in Myanmar. So how long uh, your organization uh, already uh, become a partner of Agenda? Uh, since 2016, we mm -hmm. have a uh, collaboration with uh, Agenda, mm -hmm. yes, especially in advocacy field, uh -huh. in political participation. Okay, okay. So since you're already uh, part of the uh, uh, partner of the Agenda, uh, what kind of uh, impact that you think uh, you can get from this partnership, yeah. especially to support you on uh, uh, promoting the right of person with disability and also the inclusive of election. Yes, we got a lot of impact from our uh, partner with Agenda. Uh, the specific impact is uh, in our elections, we can make a lot of advocacy mm -hmm. in systematically. Okay. And now, uh, in our country, our uh, Union Election Commission mm -hmm. and develop a st strategic plan. Mm -hmm. The strategic plan is a mainstreaming is a lot, mm -hmm. uh, so it is a, an inclusive strategic plan. Mm -hmm. And so, oh, it is the uh, part of our mm -hmm. agenda support us technically mm -hmm. and also oh, financially through mm -hmm. IFES. It is, it is a significant impact for us. Okay, thank you very much. And now, uh, speaking about the ASEAN Enabling Master Plan, yep. uh, that we hope that uh, it should be adopted soon on the on November by the leader. And what do you think the role of the DPOs uh, in uh, promoting this uh, master plan? This master plan is is emphasized on inclusion in mm. all pillars of of ASEAN. Yeah. So DPOs welcome this one because mm. uh, most of the uh, disability issues are handled by yeah. some sort uh, mm. before this master plan. Yeah. Now all below can think about uh, and implement for inclusion. So DPOs are one we welcome that and mm. we are ready to support especially in disability technologies. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so now we're talking about uh, DPOs, not only in the, in the national level, but now uh, since there is a need to, for, to have the coalition in the regional level. Mm -hmm. So what do you, why do you think it is important for the, the, the disabled people organization to be part of the coalition? Uh, it is very important because we can share our resources, we can share our mm. experience, and also, oh, we need uh, uh, we need voice together. Uh, mm. We speak up together. Mm. Uh, it is more louder than each country. Okay. Uh, so coalition is very important for our TPUs, especially in our region. So for Mili itself, how you're gonna use the, your uh, involvement in, in involvement in the coalition? Yes, we are ready to involved in a coalition and not only our Mili but also any other DBOs in our country mm. we organize to them and mm. we join in hand together in our region coalition with any other countries and uh, we are uh, advocating awareness on the master plan especially mm. for our inclusion so inclusion inclusive community for ASEAN. So you are ready for the uh, coalition? Ready, we are ready. We are so excited for coalition. Okay. And this this will be the uh, first role model for coalition in mm. master plan and, and any other issue, any mm. other activities, we can Related use this in our uh, coalition in, in, all, in all areas. Okay, thank you very much for this interview. Uh, we yeah. really appreciate your time with us. Yes, okay. I'm also thank you very much here. Okay, thank you very thank much you. everyone for watching us. This is Tolhas Damanik. See you yes, in the next you. interview. Thank Bye. You.